How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Set 6. And today we're going to be talking about the blog post that came out on the Square Enix website regarding Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I know that we've got a couple of other things to catch up on as well. I'm going to take a look at the recent Hamaguchi interview that he did with Game Informer. I'm going to take a look at that and we're going to talk about that on the channel as well. But I just kind of wanted to chat about this blog post a little bit first. It's got a few little interesting things in it. It's got one very interesting thing in it, but that could go one of three ways. So yeah, let's crack on with this video. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe for future content. We've got a lot of stuff coming on. Woof. 38 days away or something like that from Rebirth now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Within the next two or three weeks, we're definitely going to get a demo. So yeah, like and sub, do all the things, but let's crack on. So this blog post came out at the same time as the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer, the recent one. They both came out on the same day, and it covers a few things. It goes over a few things. We learn a little bit more about Junon. Uh, we learn a little bit more about the Ferry, Shinra number 8. Uh, we learn a little bit more about Kate Sith and Moogle and some of their attacks and stuff like that. And we cover a little bit of information on certain characters. We get some background stuff on Elena from the Turks. Uh, we find out about a new character, Captain Titov, who is the captain of Shimra number 8. Uh, and he's obviously going to be giving us some sort of quest or going to be interacting with us in some way, shape or form. Because they've made a point of like pointing him out to us. So I'm going to guess we do interact with him a fair bit. Or at least when we do interact with him, it's reasonably memorable. So, yeah, we got Captain Titov. But then we get some combat stuff. And this is where the actually interesting thing about this blog post happens. Don't get me wrong, the rest of the blog post is interesting. And I will leave the link in the description. And I will remember to leave the link in the description. I completely forgot to leave the link to the trailer on the last video. So I apologise for that. But on this one, I'll make sure the link's there. You can go and give it a read. There's not a massive amount of information, and if you've played Final Fantasy VII already, the only new stuff really is the stuff about Captain Titov. But yeah, I'll make sure the link's there so you can go and check it out. But like I say, we learn a little bit about combat, and we look over Yuffie and Kate Sith and synergy abilities. And again, not a massive amount of details, it just says, this is the attack, this is who does it, this is what it does. It's, it's pretty basic stuff. Probably the coolest thing on there is Yuffie's doppelganger ability where it looks like she puts some kind of bunching out you know some kind of like wooden doll to act as kind of like a decoy looking forward to using that i'm sure there'll be some fun little combinations that we can do with that but when we look at one of the other pictures of yuffie in combat we see yuffie in combat we see barrett in combat and we see tifa in combat but we don't see cloud in combat and it's the only image not only in this blog post but i think in the games promotional materials in general where we've seen combat that Cloud hasn't been a part of. And this has led to a little bit of speculation because, you know, there's a little bit of belief out there that we are potentially going to lose Cloud at some point. I've put that out there. I know other content creators like Baby Seal have put that out there that, you know, the possibility of losing Cloud for a period of time is not off the table. We do in the original game we lose Cloud when he falls into the live stream. Granted, that's later than this, but it does happen. So it got me thinking a little bit about this picture. And realistically, I think there's three possibilities for why we've not got Cloud there. One of them's very simple. In fact, two of them are very simple. And one of them's a little bit mm, interesting. So we'll go over them. In fairness, I think there's a fourth option as well. There is a fourth option, but I don't think it's very realistic. But it's there. So we'll go with the fourth option that isn't very realistic. This isn't in the main timeline. This is in Zack's timeline. No, I don't think so. It just popped into my head then as a fourth possibility. And it is a possibility, but it's a very, very slim, pretty much non-existent possibility. So it isn't that. The first option, which is probably the most likely is that this is a side quest specific to a certain character. So this is a mission that Yuffie has to do, and she takes a couple of people with her. Cloud potentially is off doing something else. That, that, that's my personal belief as to what is most likely going on here. I don't think we've lost Cloud at this point. I think if we are going to... Well, I'll get into that in a minute. But I don't think we've lost Cloud at this point. I think it's probably just a case of, oh, I'm going to go and do this over here. Do you want to come with me? Blah, blah, blah. Pity team, go do the thing. Alternatively, it's even simpler than that. And Cloud is one of the characters that's just stood over at the edge of combat, just watching like, yeah, yeah, go on, hit him. Hit, hit him, hit him. No, 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 you messed it up. You know what I mean? He's been rotated out because we know that you can rotate characters out of combat. Cloud is just rotated out of combat. 
for this encounter. That's it. Simple. They're the two most likely options. I think it's probably one of those two. It's almost certainly one of those two. But it does reopen the conversation about are we going to lose Cloud? And I do think we are going to lose Cloud, but I don't think it's going to happen until the end of the game. I think we're going to probably... I think possibly in the ending cutscene, potentially, we'll lose Cloud. And then going into the third game, we're in a bit of a messed up situation. It's kind of the flip of what happened in the OG, especially if Aerith ends up surviving. Aerith lives, but we lose Cloud. And I don't think Cloud's going to end up dead. I think Cloud's going to end up getting swept up by Sephiroth's nonsense a little bit. Uh, because this, like, Cloud in Remake is far more fragile and far more, far further along the road of breaking than he is in the OG. We've seen it all the way through Remake. It's probably going to continue in Rebirth. I wouldn't, I, you know, I can't think of a reason why it wouldn't continue going forwards in Rebirth. So I do think there is a moderate chance that we will lose Cloud at some point. I just don't think this is it. I don't think this image is it. And I like people getting carried away with themselves for the most part. And I understand we're so very close to Rebirth. It's very easy to get carried away with yourself. I come up with things all the time and then have to slap myself and be like, no, that's stupid. Why would it be that? Why would that happen? So I, I get it. I get it. But I am very much up for the conversation of Cloud leaving us at some point in the game and like i say i think it's going to happen at the end of the game you kind of want to go into the third game with oh my god everything's turned to shit one of the possibilities of doing that is go the original route and kill Aerith. but again there's a lot of there's a lot of suggestions that they're going to subvert us and that they're not going to do things the way that we think they're going to do it and i feel like one of the perfect ways to do that is to let Aerith live but take cloud away and it's going to leave us all in a completely unknown dynamic when we get into the third game. Because, yeah, we've had moments where we've lost Cloud. You know, a little bit of the way into this too. In the OG, we lose Cloud. And I feel like we're going to get something like that again. But they're going to do it differently. They're going to move things around. They're going to shuffle things around. And even if Aerith does survive this, which I think she's got a good chance of surviving it, I'm still not 100% that she's going to survive to the end of the remake project, to the end of part three. But just moving things around will do enough to make us all... It will put us all on edge. It will make us all nervous. It will make us all concerned about what's going on. You'll have the people that are like, oh my God, she's alive. Is she going to stay alive? Oh my God. And then you'll have the people that are like, whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't Final Fantasy VII. If Aerith doesn't die, what the fuck? So everyone will be on edge. Everyone will be nervous. And I think that's what they want. I, th I think that's what they want going into part three. They want us all completely uncertain about where things are going. Even if things do go the same way, they want to put that doubt in our heads. And I feel like that's kind of been a goal for a very long time. So, yeah, tangent, but I do think we are going to lose Cloud at some point. I just don't think this picture suggests anything. Let me know what you think, though. Do you think, which of the two most probable options do you think it is? I think it's a side mission. I think Yuffie's off on her own little side mission. And she's took a few people with her. I think that'd be really cool. Certain characters get their own mission. We have had example already with the DLC of Yuffie leading a party and being a front character for the party. So why not keep running with that and use it sparingly in Rebirth? I think it could be good. Let me know what you think in the comments below anyway. Don't forget, hit like on the video, subscribe for future content. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming over the next few weeks, over the next two, three months now. Because, I mean, after the game drops, we're obviously going to be talking about it obviously going to be talking about it so it's going to be a busy few months don't miss out but yeah like sub all the things but more importantly than that have a great day